Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of StarMade. Today I feel like we should continue on the mothership, oh yes indeed. And I don't only want to build with it today, I actually want to take it out for just a little spin around our planet and we want to do something with the salvage modules because I have completed the salvage cannon or at least the first half of the salvage cannon that I want to place on there. There are thousands upon thousands of modules and it took me a long time to actually accomplish this it was quite boring I have to say. Also in the past two weeks I have been producing in my factory shield rechargers as well as shield capacitors and I produced myself about two and a half thousand of each, maybe a little bit less. But it took such a freaking long time and it is not nearly the amount that I'm gonna need. So I decided to cheat in the rest so I get about five thousand of each. I think, uh, yeah, there we go. I have them already in my hotbar, so about half or a little bit less is legitimate. The other stuff is cheated. I'm sorry, sue me, but for the sake of progress uh, for this mothership, which I will never be be able to complete fully in survival mode we have to go with a hybrid strategy so I hope you don't mind too much but otherwise you will see nothing in this series or I would have to live in StarMate in order to accomplish that and that's definitely something I'm not gonna do. Before we are gonna go and check out the salvage module and believe me it is gonna be incredible we want to add a bunch of those shields that I organized myself in various fashions and we kind of want to fill up this grid with the shields. Now I wonder in which pattern I actually want to achieve that. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with shield capacitors first. We're gonna have the shield capacitors right here on the outside, just like so. And you can see already here we have to place an immense amount of shields. With each click I'm placing down 40 shield blocks. So yeah, that is kind of crazy, but now we already have uh, shields for 73,000 points right but we do not have recharge yet now i think this row right here i want to use for some kind of a wall so that we have a nifty uh, hallway going through all of those modules there we go and now we can make a row of shield recharges you can see only these and the rows are not even completed have required over a thousand shields and this is the reason why I so seldomly do big things on the mothership because I always have to accumulate those freaking materials and it is just slowly but surely bothering me a little bit that we cannot make enough progress and that's why I decided to freaking screw it and go with a hybrid kind of solution by accumulating as many materials as possible survival style and then just add on to it using the commands. Okay, there we go. I completed it and I figured that it absolutely doesn't matter how we distribute the modules because you will probably not be able to see them in the end anyways. Yeah, we're gonna add a bunch of the modules here and unfortunately we cannot even see which ones we have placed in there. <laughs> so yeah, that is too bad, but let's have a look at the stats. We have 186,000 capacity right now and 8,000 recharge per second so that is pretty darn awesome if I may uh, say so and we have just started I mean there's so many uh, spaces where we can add shields once the mothership does load in if we for instance have a look below the hull right here we can see this is a whole area where we can do whatever the heck we want this is not actually visible from the outside or the inside of the mothership it is just a room where I left some space in order to add modules such as these and since shields are are not dependent on actually grouping them together you can place them wherever you have a bunch of gaps but yeah that was already almost 2,000 modules so you can see we cannot even fill up the gaps with all the 5,000 modules that I have or the 10,000 if you count them together they will not fill out this salvage cannon but yeah I hope you do understand my situation a little bit better it's sometimes gonna be a little bit of sneaky GD just because otherwise my plans would be impossible anyhow are you ready for the big showdown we are gonna switch 
oh, into the camera view of the mothership and let's just have a little sneak peek. We're gonna use the uh, right shift button in order to whoa, have a look at it a little bit and uh, it is too bad that it doesn't load in. Also my computer is working really loud at the moment, even the microphone is picking it up. So I'm not sure, maybe I'm too ambitious with this build. <laughs> However, I want to take apart my freaking planet, so let's try to face the planet a little bit better. And then I believe we are gonna go with a right click first. Let's just have a look what that actually does. Okay, we have to wait for everything to load in. It is salvaging quicker than it can actually render it. But let's do it once again, just go a little bit crazier with back and forth and... <gasps> Whoa! This is just crazy, I've never built such a, a salvage module. At some point I definitely need to make a salvage module which is just the size of one of those planet segments and then we'll take it apart. But let's see what the focused beam does. We are going to use the left mouse button now and it will basically do what? Oh yeah, it will be a lot more... F oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, it will obviously be a lot more focused and not as widespread, so with the right mouse button it is actually fine too. We can do a lot more. Look at look at that! Look at the crazy stuff that is happening with the salvage module. I just love it! This is so much better than using the build tool. Let's have a look at our inventory. Yeah, we do have some space still. Unfortunately, it seems as though I have generated my planet before before they had the ore. Or I'm not sure as to why my planet doesn't necessarily have some ore. Look at that, man. The focused variant is also a lot of fun, I have to say. Just have to wiggle and jiggle it around a little bit. But yeah, guys, I think this is how we do it from now on. We can definitely take the mothership out for a spin, especially if we add those 3000 shields that we have left. This should give us a really nice cover in case we are meeting a bunch of pirates, which is highly likely once I actually exit my sector. But holy bejeez, look at that. It, it is really fun to watch for some reason. I could do this for a long, long time. Just kind of wiggle and jiggle it and then watch all the blocks disappear in a fashly fashion. Isn't that just amazing? Yes. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I kind of took apart some of the stuff that I already build on purpose. But yeah, with a beam such as mine you have to risk a bunch of casualties. The only thing of course with our ship is that the turn radius is huge and it takes a long long time to turn the ship around. But it is not as bad as I would have thought with a ship that is almost 600 blocks in length. I mean, look at that, it is not, not too bad. I'm, I'm kind of moving my mouse up the whole time right now. I mean, it is slow, but it could be worse. It could be much worse, actually. However, there's one more thing that we can try out on the, my planet, which is the Canon computer. I've shown that off in the previous episode, but I think we didn't have the power capacity, so we can now shoot a lot more bullets before we actually run out of uh, steam. And with bullets, I mean lasers, and with steam, I mean power. There we go, so stop writing that comment right now. <laughs> However, let's go ahead and do some shooting. Are you ready guys? 3, 2, 1, shoot! And yes, we're gonna eat through the freaking planet. How much damage do we actually do? Of course, I disabled the heart so we couldn't see the actual damage we're doing. It's 47 damage per shot, it seems. Or 62, I see 62 or 82. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Uh, different numbers. Maybe I haven't laid out the modules correctly, but we do have some rapid fire going on and of course you can see on the right side we are using up the power rather quickly, so we don't yet have enough power. Still, it is a lot more fun to take apart the planet using our trusty beam and just salvage the heck out of that guy. And it seems as though we are still not affected by gravity, even though I'm pretty close to the planet. I mean, the main body of the mothership is still like 200 blocks away from the planet. 
but the ray is almost on the planet and we don't seem to be really affected. But I guess after all, doing it with the build block will still be a lot faster. The main reason I wanted it to do with the salvage modules is because of all the crystals and ores that I would be getting. But it seems as though this planet was generated before there has been ore on them. Or I just got that wrong, maybe planets do not contain ore, but I thought I have seen that previously, so I'm pretty sure there should be some ore, at least on some planets. But yeah, here we go guys, we finally did a little something with the mothership and it has been a blast, it has been uh, very refreshing. I learned that I need to add a lot more of these cannon modules in order to make the shot stronger. And I also learned that the mothership is much more maneuverable than I first anticipated. However, there's a few more things that we want to do with the mothership. Of course, it is not nearly finished. It will probably still take weeks and months in order to complete that. But you know, this is our long-term project with all the side projects next to it every now and then. So one of the things that I would like to do in today's episode is kind of complete this cockpit part. I want to make the attachment to the cannon a little bit more fluent. A few people also have mentioned that it still doesn't quite fit. It still looks like it is kind of attached. So maybe we can make a ramp up to the rings and kind of connect them in a more fashionly manner. Another thing that we we'll probably take on in future episodes is the top right here. If you remember, we already have a bunch of structures there which I kind of removed because I wasn't happy with them. We're gonna restart that project. Of course the roof is not gonna stay as flat as it is right now. For that purpose I would actually to invite some people on the server. Maybe they have a bunch of good ideas. I want to make this some kind of a turret platform but also with a lot of decorative parts and a lot of depth to it. At least that would be desirable. So probably for the rest of the episode we're gonna tend to uh, finishing this bridge slash cockpit area together with the ray and kind of make this look a lot better hopefully. Well, well guys, I've been working for quite a bit. It is about an hour or so later. I did uh, make a coffee in the meantime just as a little break. I'm sorry about that. But I think I have now found a way to actually hook this somewhat up. Of course it is not refined yet, but it kind of looks like it opens up the snout and then there is this array that just kind of forms the mouth of the beast. Also, I did my work at the bottom, as you can see right here. I tried to kind of arrange it in a way so that it transits from the ring into the lower part of this bridge thing of the core room. And just because it was looking a little bit weird, I also mixed it up uh, with a few shapes at the bottom. And I think I'm also gonna actually smooth them out using the wedges. This is actually something that we should still do overall. On the top, I left a few parts as windows. I'm not sure about the middle pieces here yet because you can barely see the windows. It does look like a gap more than it looks right here. In the cockpit slash core room you can clearly see that it is glass but if you look at an angle from here you can barely make out these two strips. So yeah that's maybe something we have to consider but maybe you guys have better ideas actually how to uh, still improve it yet but I think I think it looks a lot more stable, it looks a lot more attached to the ship as if it was actually part of the ship. And yeah, I kind of like that the effect of the lava is going a little bit more to the right on the edges at, at the bottom than it is on the top. I kind of like uh, this uh, difference. So how about that? What do you think? I think that one more thing that we should do apart from, you know, wedging this out is to close off this first segment. And I believe I just want to go with a kind of black foundation and then maybe we'll add onto it with a different variants of colored wedges or so. But for the time being, I just want to hook this up. So what is this? Yeah, like 12 blocks. That should be all right. So now we're just gonna close this off like along the glass. We might have to exchange the glass with black armor too. I'm not sure. Oh, actually this could actually kind of look nice. I'm not sure. Maybe we should fill out the gaps with lava instead of glass. What do you think about that? Let me just quickly arrange that and then I'm gonna present you with the results. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is already much, much better. Now you have to think that eventually we are gonna have this whole array filled up with at least something. So it's not gonna be as empty as it is right now. But this one here should be covered. And I think like this with the lava strip, it is actually quite nice. Maybe we'll figure out a way to actually continue this lava pattern slightly. And I think for this strip right here, this glass strip we're just gonna use simple black hole in order to connect it up there we go now it looks much more finished there's actually something we uh, still have to fix this kind of doesn't fit anymore and down below we want to exchange that too yeah that's definitely what we're gonna do and there's one more thing that bothers me and this is this strip which is kind of too straight maybe if we filled this out with my last remaining crystals then it would be a lot better yeah this is actually much better hooray the connection is actually made some of you guys can be relieved once again yeah, so give me your feedback. I think overall it does make a, a heck of a good impression now, the connection I'm talking about. But what I'm especially interested in is actually attaching a bunch of turrets onto the top and to kind of arrange this. So maybe to wrap up this video, we are going to kind of plan this area out and in the next episode we can actually tend to a bunch of turret designs and of course we're also gonna try to kind of test them out a little bit maybe we can have a bunch of battles with you know just a few minor pirates i don't want to risk too much maybe we're gonna set up something in a single player world where i can spawn in the current mothership and just test out a few settings with the various cannons with the various turrets that we could have that could be an idea for the next time well guys this is me after editing the video a little bit and i figured that we are already about 16 minutes or so into the video and i don't really like to start a new topic 16 minutes into the video i thought it would be like around 11 minutes or so i tried to narrow it down as much as possible i had like a 40 minutes recording so trust me guys you haven't seen any of the boring parts that was uh, going on today but i think i will wrap it up at this point and i will continue by myself a little bit while the episode is rendering i'm gonna continue setting up the top platform of our mothership to actually later on contain a bunch of turrets but don't worry we're gonna build the turrets together and hopefully also with other members on the server that would be cool to kind of implement their ideas into the project but other than that thank you so much for your continued support and feedback on this series i get ideas what i could do in future episodes i get uh, ideas about what mistakes that i make and a lot of the stuff that is here in the series is because of you guys because of what you guys wrote me in the comment section and what tips you gave me and just you know when you say hello it, it I'm, I'm really glad about that and it's just something about sharing that with you guys and interacting with you guys which makes this YouTube thing so satisfactory or satisfying I don't know but my point remains valid have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one Bye-bye.